Today's guest is Secretary of Public Chamber Coordination Council, Gulaga Aslanlı. Welcome to our studio. Our subject is related to the situation after 2 April rally. How do you assess this? How many people were arrested? How many people were released? The arrest was launched before 2 April rally. We have accurate information that 12 activists were arrested for several days before the rally. Lawsuit was filed against one person. More than 20 opposition representatives were summoned to police departments in Kachmaz, Yevlak, Aksu, other regions, and especially in Baku. Police asked them to give statement that they will not participate in the rally. However, they didn't achieve anything. Then they were set free. There were more than 200 detainees during the protest in accordance with our official information. 193 people were arrested and taken to police department during the rally on April 2. Several people didn't want to enter their names in the list because of they can be dismissed from their house. About 300 people were detained. However, 193 of them were taken to police departments. 14 people were sentenced to administrative detention. Criminal case was opened against four persons. Two persons have been arrested in Sabah District Police Department until yesterday. Police employees didn't give any information regarding them. One of them was released yesterday. The other arrest person is member of Presidium of Azerbaijan Popular Front Party, Eldar Hussainov. He is being held in police department without any reason. It is possible to train person in police department for three days, according to law. Law is for countries which observe the law. Law was not observed in Azerbaijan. Law enforcement bodies, police employees, the employees of prosecutor office, presidential administration, and the president of the country don't observe and respect any laws in Azerbaijan. How many days were people arrested in prison? There is a minimum three days detention. One person was sentenced to three days. One person was sentenced to certain days. There is a person who was sentenced to ten days. There are more people who were sentenced to seven, eight days. Information regarding inhuman behavior used against people was published in media. How many people were subjected to inhuman behavior cases? Were they registered? If person appealed to us regarding a human behavior case, we registered him or her. It is shown in the videos that there are more than 100 people who subjected to inhuman behavior. For instance, former Prime Minister Pana Hussein was taken into car and police employees put handcuffs on his arms. Then he was beaten by them. The women participating in the rally were subjected to inhuman behavior. They are Dunya Hanım, Jarulayeva, Egana Hajiyeva, Gözel Bayramova. These facts were shown in the videos and they also affirmed these facts. In the Nasimi Police Department, Deputy Chief Suleyman Nahmedov, B. Tovid Yagoglu, Mustafa Hajibeyli, Mustafa Hajibeyli, and several other well known activists of opposition party. The same events happened in the Yasemal Police Department where Khalik Bahadur, Ahad Ahad Mamedov, Ramin Bakish, and others were brutally beaten. We have information that police groups were brought from Ganja and other regions. I have doubts that they are not police employees. They use pressure against detainees during the protest. In Sabah District Police Department, 54 people were placed in prison cell which eight persons can be detained there. The detainees were suffered from the lack of air. Azerbaijan Popular Front Party Supreme Assembly Chairman Hassan Karimov was suffered from the lack of air. Consequently, he suffered third heart attack. They took him to hospital. The facts regarding police cause people have not been affirmed yet. We don't have facts regarding this. If these incidents happened before observation cameras, the videos were held in hotline and relevant bodies. Did you apple to court regarding tortures fact and inhuman behavior cases?
We appeal to court regarding inhuman behavior cases. As I know, Mustafa Hajibayli appealed to relevant organizations. Tofik Yagubla and Ahad Mamadlo also will appeal to court. The number of the people who suffer from tortures has increased. We hope that we will achieve to punish guilty people. Azerbaijan is legal states and it has laws. All actions are being regulated in accordance with law. Behavior of police and people are being regulated under the law. There are security cameras in the streets. It is interesting for government that whether the law is observed. Records regarding tortures used against people in the cameras should be submitted to court as evidence. It should be proved that how law is observed in Azerbaijan. Consequently, society should know that whether government court system should write decision in accordance with legislation. There were saboteur groups during the rally. The saboteur group broke glass of buildings. We demand to arrest the saboteurs. We will appeal to court regarding these issues. However, we know that they will offer excuse that cameras were not operated during the rally. Police employees didn't try to arrest the saboteurs during the rally. We ask to investigate all these issues and arrest them. All the saboteurs are not members of our parties participated in the rally. When will you appeal to Baku City Executive Administration on protests to be held on 16 April? We appeal to appeal to Baku City Executive Administration on 11 April. Public Chamber will hold its session on 9 April. Date of the protest will be affirmed during the public chamber session. We will send warning letter to Baku City Executive Administration on 11 April. Thank you for coming to our studio. Our guest was Secretary of Public Chamber Coordination Council, Gulaga Aslanli. Thank you.